Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I said that I would do an episode, like a video for The Mandalorian, but I decided since slept seven and eight is like a two-parter and it kind of cuts off in the middle, I'm gonna do both of them together. This was so good. I'm so mad that they left off seven, like at such a um, cliffhanger, but well done for them because it really kept me going. I love this show. It's so good. The fact that we get a uh, that we get Moff Gideon, who is one of the Moffs from the Empire, and supposedly was dead, or supposedly you know they they there are no more, comes back and is like not afraid. He's like in the New Republic and like you know what up. So <laughs> wow. And then on top of that, we get some great action um, sequences from stormtroopers, from the Mandalorian, from Cara Dune. What I love about these two episodes is we get all the good experiences that the Mandalorian has with his new friends and all the people that he's made, like made connections with that have helped change him. He gathers them together to help him with something big and something that's worth fighting for. All in all, we did learn a great deal about the Mandalorian's character, how far he'll go. Oh my gosh. And then the, the um, armor in the tunnels that was part of, you know, that, oh my gosh. I adore her even more. I want to see her more in season two. She's awesome. What I loved about this it was, is we got more of a satisfaction of the Mandalorian's um, character as he um, progressed more, as he evolved in this entire season and where he got to in the last episode and being able to literally rise from the ashes with the jetpack and being able to be part of the, you know, uh, learn Phoenix, the learning how to use your jetpack um, as a Mandalorian. He now has the baby, the child, as a foundling, which he was. And so him being able to father someone is going to be a crazy thing to see, especially in this next season. And then, of course, the last thing, I loved the end. We saw Moff Gideon, he was still alive, and he held the Darksaber. I like that bridge between the animated series and this, and I hope people will want to watch the animated series because it's incredible, both the Clone Wars and Rebels. I thought this was a great end to the series and I think that fall 2020 is way too far away but I'm really excited that we already have a season two coming out. I love the series. It's so good. I want to watch it again and if you want to talk to me about the series um, I'm on Twitter and you can talk to me through there. I love talking to people and my handle will be down below in the description box. So yeah if you like this video like it. If you want to see more subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye!